Hello, my name is Micaiah Stevens, and I'm here to talk about some my take on this goal-oriented action planning. Uh, this was originally done by Brent Owens in the Unity 380 engine. I'm going to be going pretty quick, so it's uh, if you have any uh, interest in the original project, please see his website. He has a great demo. Anyways, let's jump into his uh, Unity demo here. We can see that he's got uh, uh, laborers, uh, the guy on the top left person top left collecting stone and then we got logs and they're turning those logs into firewood once those resources are dropped off we just saw the blacksmith take those uh, resources uh, craft them into tools and drop them off notice on the far right we see uh, his uh, implementation of the project we have um, notice of various actions uh, I like to focus on the mine ore action that's the guy who is out there mining the stone, or, or uh, as it may be, uh, he's the miner who's actually going out and doing that, and then he's actually mining a uh, iron rock component. Um, these are uh, those code bases for every single one, so you see a lot of uh, projects like that. Anyways, here's my example. Uh, it's very similar. Uh, we'll notice one big difference, though, right away. The uh, chopper, as I like to call him, is not taking the logs into firewood until the logs are actually dropped off. Uh, There's a big change, um, you know, just to showcase more of the crafting. And once those tools are dropped off, uh, you know, he picks up the, lo the logs, turns them into f uh, firewood, and drops off the firewood, as uh, seen. On the far right, you can see my code. Uh, we have took a lot of those files, condensed them all down. You don't see any more. Um, you can still see the labor. Um, yeah, and then uh, instead of all the different labor actions. You, it just has one labor action, one uh, one GOP action, one uh, GOP you know harvest component. And um, anyways, let's take a look at the code and see how this all works. Come over to the harvest. You'll see that there's uh, simply a, a numer enumeration of the trade goods. Um, I always start mine with none, but let's focus on the trade goods. Uh, we can see the stone, the log, tool, packs are part of the larger scope. Uh, items in inventory, but for this demo, I was trying to uh, condense it down to what he was displaying. Anyways, you can see that they craft firewood and new tools. Use the crafting items, uh, and then it's a harvest is what actually is, is crafting. So we've got a good. How many goods are there? You can see that mine started out smaller because they're only having two, just to showcase all the different aspects of them starting. Anyways, the harvest component. Uh, was kind of like that. Uh, 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 it's all the harvestable things, but uh, f the forge um, is a station. Anyway, so uh, part of that is display those components. Uh, in his demo, we use these inspector goods and the inspector station. Station is really important because it tells it's a crafting station. And then we, again, we see that they're harvesting that uh, component, uh, that base class of harvest. Anyways, look at the craft action. We can see that he still has these, uh, still use these preconditions and the effects uh, from his original project. The precondition is they have, um, he has like the firewood has the logs first, uh, or has the tool, and then we get the effect out of that. Um, if we uh, sneak down into the, uh, if we go into the type, the type is the really big one, and as long as the craft, let me get this both, uh, the craft. And the type are both the has action, which is uh, his original implementation, but we need to know the name of the good and then what it's crafting from. And then um, and then the name of the, uh, you know, so, and then we also say the collect, same thing, we collect the good. Uh, if you go into the name, uh, if you go into the name, let's see, there's a quick way to get in there. The name is the... Yeah, right here. The name is what originally uh, he had the name of the class, but we need to know the name of the base uh, class to be able to compare. So this is a huge part of the project. Anyways, uh, that's my take on this demo. We can see uh, he hoped that someone would turn it into a banished. I uh, can't promise a banished, but I'm working on a much larger game, and hopefully we'll see more of that later. Anyways, thanks for, for uh, watching, and hopefully we'll see you on the flip side. You take care. Bye.